I am great. I am thin. I am beautiful. I am great. I am thin. I am great. I am thin. I am beautiful. I can do this. Just one more step. One and one. Mom. Lisa, I found the perfect book to go along with all the redecorating you're doing. It's going to help you focus on what you really want and help get you organized. Mom. Mom, Mom, please. Can I call you back? I just ate the pavement and I, I need to get it out of my skin. Okay. I just wanted to let you know about this book. Which I think is going to be very important for you. It's sort of a redecorating your life as well book. For instance, the book says, get the clutter out of your life. Uh, Mom, I have so many programs that I am trying to implement that I can barely keep up. I have theories and doctrines and plans coming at me too fast. And my brain, she's full. You know, some books say, to exercise an hour and a half a day. And then others say it's too much. Some say you can exercise by breathing 20 minutes a day. I don't know if I should be eating raw food or if I should be eating meat. But I know I gotta eat the raw before I eat the meat or it'll fester. Oh. Now, is it low carb or is it no carb? I don't know if I should throw away all my junk or if I should meditate on how thankful I am to have all the junk that I have. Oh know which way to go. I am so exhausted by all of this self-help stuff. I just want some peace. I know, but so do I. I'm just saying. I think you might be hiding something under there that's holding you back. Get out from under all those layers. I think you could declutter your life just a little. I mean, you know how men love organized women. <laughs> The book says, if you haven't worn it in six months, get rid of it. Oh, and so that's what you've done, right? You've decluttered? This is not about me, Lisa. <laughs> Hiding something? Are you talking about me or my closet? Because we have boundaries about what I will and will not discuss with you. I'm talking about your closet. And so you've sorted through all those black clothes in your closet, and you've given them away, right? Because <laughs> hey, until you've done it yourself, I don't think you should judge, really. I don't think. Your mom. Lisa, I am not the one fun shuiing. You are. What are you eating? Because I have a friend I want you to meet. She is on a raw food diet. Ah, ah. We do not use that word. What? Diet? Diet? Have you looked in the mirror lately? Oh, God. All right, I'm going to compromise. It's not a diet. but she lost almost 20 pounds in three weeks. Not that I want you to starve yourself. And oh, by the way, we are having dinner tonight at Lame, so I made reservations for two at seven. They have salads, and we're something nice. What is that supposed to mean? It doesn't mean anything. Look, nice is nice. Well, who else is gonna be there? What is that supposed to mean? It means, what do you mean by nice? It means, why is an overly dramatic woman using an adjective as mild as nice. It makes me wonder if what I normally wear is less than suitable for most occasions. You know, less than nice. I can just tell there's some hidden agenda, some ploy or some plot or something. And I have spoken to my therapist. I have spent shitloads of money talking specifically about this kind of deceit. And I gotta tell you, we have come to the conclusion that it isn't very goddamn nice. Don't you swear. Besides, don't you have your Botox shots or something tonight at 7? You know, you're finally right about something. But not entirely accurate. 
Yes, I am starting my new Kabbalah class this evening at 7, but you're right, I shouldn't miss. But not to worry, because I have the perfect person to replace me for dinner. No! 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 Jeez, we have talked about this! No more blind dates! God, would you just stop it? Now, they never turn out to be who you hope for. Oh, okay, may, may I have a moment here, please, to express myself without any interruption? Thank you, Lisa. This guy is amazing. He's beautiful, he is charming, he's funny. He's intelligent, he's wealthy, and he is a psychologist as well, so he has brains and money. So you see, there's a bonus, because you could discuss all your parental issues with him for free. Isn't that great? I would think You could just eat him with a spoon. He is just like that actor that was in The Way We Were. Lisa. Lisa? Lisa? What are you eating, sweetie? Are you a lesbian? Oh, come on. You don't ask people that. OK, I, look, then how about dinner tonight? Please, please, for me. Please? Oh, I'll be there. <gasps> sweetie, thank you. Thank you. Shake all your little hands. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> well, it's certainly a choice. Wellington, party of two. I so did not take that reservation. Yes, madam. Your party's already here. Oh, it's okay. I see him. of people and media have told me that I am running out of time, so I'm gonna make this quick. Now, I know my mother has told you all about me, and I know all about you, including your five key qualities. So we must be perfectly matched. Tell him what he's won, Bob. You don't have to bother with pointless flowers and chocolates all in the hopes of getting laid. No, siree. You have won two free tickets to the marriage capital of the world. So. I say, let's forget dinner and just go straight to Vegas and get married. I like to sleep on the left side of the bed. Excuse me, madam. Your party is over here. Oh, God. I'm sorry. I really, I, I thought you please. OK, I just I thought you were somebody else. I, I'm really sorry. Excuse me. Madam, I beg please. OK, OK, jeez. <laughs> Thank you. Bummer. I love wedding cake. Hi. Hi. I'm Lisa. I'm Dr. Ranger. Everyone calls me Adam. Oh. I, I am so embarrassed. I. I was trying to make a point, and I, um, my, um, you know, my mom, she's like really, whew, <laughs> kind of over the top, and, um, she thinks I'm a lesbian, not that there's anything wrong with that, it's just that, you know, I, I'm, I'm in real estate, and, um, I'm, you know, a workaholic, and mm -hmm. independent, and stubborn, and, um, I need a lot. And you don't. I mean, look at you. 
You are so beautiful. And who you are with all of your qualities and all. And I'm just not that. So I'm going to go and rethink this whole thing. Thanks. Oh, you must be hungry. Do you want to have dinner? I, I am. I, I do. I, I just think I should change into a different person. Well, I could make dinner for us at my house. You could? Yeah, I could. So how's it going? Does it please beauty? Yeah, in my professional opinion, she needs a lot of help. She's wearing a frickin' wedding dress. People know me here. <laughs> Lady, this ain't worth a session for you paid me. Yes, you're finished. Here, let me get that. Oh, gosh. I, I can't believe you would do that. Are you okay? Are you okay? Seriously, are you okay? Yes. No. Yes, actually, no. I mean, you heard what that guy said. He said I was a freak. I don't think Hubble's in any position to be judging appearances. Now, where were we? Something about Vegas or sex before marriage or was it sex before dinner? <laughs> or is that being inappropriate? Oh. I think I'm way beyond inappropriate. <laughs> Should I get that? I could get it. I better get it. <laughs> it's my mother. <clears throat> Hello? Darling, what happened? Are you okay? Adam called. He was very upset. Listen, I cannot come and pick you up right now. I am in the middle of praying and the Madonna is coming. It's, it's okay, he left, Hubble left. Why am I whispering? <laughs> I'm okay. Um, actually, I'm having a drink with another man. His name is... Um, Donald Mack. Donald Mack. And um, we're discussing the importance of first impressions. <laughs> uh, Oh, Mom, this is very rude. I have to go. Oh, well, that's fine, darling. I guess Adam just wasn't the one. I actually think he's a little nuts. He thought you were wearing a wedding dress? I am. You have what? I am wearing a wedding dress. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> that is the most ridiculous thing I ever heard. Well, you said to wear something nice. Are you out of your mind? Are you making fun of me? Are you trying to get people to dislike me? Because why do you think I'm praying? Because if they dislike you, they dislike me. She's like mother, like daughter. Here, let me hold your coals. <sighs> so, would you like some dessert? I wonder if they have wedding cake. <laughs> I hope so. I like you know, the fruit kind with the white icing on the top. Uh, the, the white icing? Yeah, yeah. That like goes that. On the yeah. He shows up unexpected. Much to my surprise. Possible to find him. Possible, no, no. My broken heart. 
If my mind was open enough, as if my eyes could see. Surprise.